This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about probability. We're going to focus on marble bag problems. In the first section, we're going to talk about what happens when you pick one marble from a bag with unconditional probability. In our second section, we're going to talk about how you could pick two marbles with unconditional probability. And then in the third section, we're going to choose two marbles, and we're going to talk about conditional probability. Let's get started. So this is our first section. We're going to talk about what happens when we pick one marble in what's called an unconditional probability problem. So you can see over here on the right side, I already have a marble bag drawn, and uh, there's a bunch of different colored marbles in there. I already counted these up. I think there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, there's 10 marbles in the bag. All we need are some probability problems. So now with the probability problem shown, we just have to understand what this notation means. The P's stand for probability, and then the capital letters inside the parentheses uh, talk about the condition. So the condition here, of course, is what's the probability of us pulling a green marble? All right, now the way the probability works is you put the number of favorable outcomes in the numerator, and then we put the total number of outcomes in the denominator. So if we're trying to choose a green marble, there is one, two, three, four favorable outcomes out of a total of 10. So the probability is 4 tenths. We could always reduce this to 2 fifths. We could divide, get a decimal value. 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. We could even write this as a percent by moving the decimal point two places over. So we could write the probability three different ways. Fraction, decimal, percent. All right, let's get to our second problem here. So again, what we do, we say, what's the favorable number of outcomes? Well, there's three red marbles out of 10. So we say that that is a 0 0.3. Or if we move the decimal two places to the right, we get a 30%. So there's a 30% chance of it happening. All right, so what is the chance of, or probability, I should say, of choosing either yellow or green? Well, let's see. There's four green, one yellow. That means there's five total possible favorable outcomes of either being green or red. I'm sorry, green or yellow. Uh, all right, so there's five there out of 10 possible marbles. That would, of course, would be 0.5 or 50%. So there's a 50% chance of me choosing either yellow or green. So in our second section, we're going to talk about unconditional probability when we pull two marbles from the bag. So what we're going to do is pull a marble from the bag, then whatever marble we get from the bag, we'll look at the color, obviously, and then we'll toss that marble back in the bag before we pull our second marble. Okay, we call this marble bags with replacement types of problems. All right, well, let's give it a shot. So what's the probability of us pulling green? Well, let's see, there's four green out of 10 marbles. Let's see, what's the probability of blue? See, now whatever marble we pulled out of the bag the first time, we tossed it back in the bag, so there's still 10 marbles in the bag, and we've got two blue. Two of them are blue. All right, so before we multiply these two ratios across, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, it's always nice to reduce. Like I could take four and 10, and I could divide both of those numbers by two. Uh, I could take 2 and 10. I could divide both of those numbers by 2. All right, so now I could multiply across because there's nothing else that I could do to reduce. So I multiply straight across. And I'm going to get 2 over 25. That means roughly 2 out of every 25 times I conduct this little double pull of a marble one after another, it's going to be green then blue. All right, anyway, I could divide these. 
If I take 2 divided by 25, I'm going to get... I can always move the decimal two places over. Okay, let's try another problem. All right, what's the probability of us pulling a red marble? Well, there's three red marbles out of a total of 10. So then, of course, whatever I pull the first time, I put it back in the bag, put that marble back in the bag, so I'm resetting the marble bag back to 10. Shuffle up the marbles and figure out what's the chance now of us pulling a green. There's four green. All right, now before we multiply across, what we're going to do is do some reducing. So I could divide four, I could divide that by two, and I could divide the 10 by two. So let's see, what am I gonna get? If I divide that by two, I get two, divide that by two, I get five. Well, I could still do some more reducing. I could divide this 2, and I could divide that 10. I could divide both of them by 2. Okay, so now that I've reduced entirely, let's multiply across. I'm going to get 3 25ths. This means roughly 3 out of every 25 times, I'll get a red marble, then a green marble. All right, if I take 3 divided by 25, I get... I can move the decimal two places over. For our third section, we are now going to do a two marble pull from the bag, but with no replacement. All right, now these are called conditional probability problems, and you'll see the difference between this section and our previous. All right, so let's first figure out what is the probability of us pulling a red marble? Okay, so this doesn't change. I know there's three marbles, and there's 10 marbles total in the bag. All right, now, once we pull a marble from this bag, assuming we do now pull the red marble, right? So I wanna figure out what's the chance of us pulling a red marble? It's three out of 10. Now that marble, red marble, is gone. It's out of the bag. So now there's only nine marbles left in the bag, What's the chance of us pulling yellow? Well, there's only one yellow left in the bag. Okay, so that's the difference. So now, for these no replacement problems, we have pulled a marble from the bag. So our second fraction is different, especially the denominator. Okay, so let's reduce. So I could divide this by three, I could divide that by three. So that would be a one and three. Now I multiply across, I get one 30th. 1 divided by 30 is 0 0.0. A bunch of repeating 3's. So if I move it two places to the right, we would say that is approximately a 3.3%. 3.3% chance. Okay, let's try another one. What's the probability of us pulling a blue marble? Well, there's only 2 out of 10 that are blue. All right, now a blue marble is now gone from the bag, meaning now there's only nine marbles left in the bag. What's the probability of us choosing green? Well, there's only four that are green. Okay, so now that we have this set up, let's reduce. I could divide this and this both by two. One and five. That's it. Okay, it doesn't look like I could do anything else there. So now I multiply across. I get 4 times 1, I get 9 times 5. That means roughly 4 out of every 45 times I conduct this little experiment, I'll get blue and green in that order. Uh, okay, 4 divided by 45 is 0 0.08, repeating 8s. Okay, and what is this? If I move it two places over, this is around an 8.9%. If I round it, I have to round it up. Around an 8.9%, or if you prefer to keep it perfect, you could say it's an 8 point repeating 8% per, 8 chance. Okay, let's get to our last one. Uh, what's the chance of us pulling two green marbles, right? Two green marbles in a row with no replacement. Okay, what's the chance of us pulling green? Well, there's four green. 
out of 10, 10 marbles. Okay, now remember, our one green marble is gone. There's only nine marbles left in the bag. When we go to try to pull our next marble, remember, this marble is gone, right? That marble is now gone from the bag. So how many marbles are left that are green? There's only three green, right? I'm gonna put three. There's only three green, and there's nine marbles in that bag. So before we multiply across, let's reduce. Let's divide that by three, let's divide that by three. So I get one third. I could divide this by two and this by two. So I could get a two fifths. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else to reduce. There's no common factors in the numerator and denominator. So we now multiply across. We get two fifteenths. So two out of every 15 times I conduct this little two marble experiment, I'll get green in a row. All right, so two greens in a row, that is. All right, so if I divide, two divided by 15, I'm going to get point one and a bunch of repeating threes. And that's roughly 13%, a little over 13% chance. Okay, this has been MathGuy.com. Check out our other instructional videos, our interactive quizzes, and our text-based lessons. Take care.